I'm Alexa Dunn, a YA author, here to offer you six tips for getting unstuck during NaNoWriMo. The first tip is to interrupt the scene. If you're stuck, if something feels boring or stale, you don't know where to take a dialogue exchange or end a scene, have someone or something interrupt the scene. It can be a new character or a conflict character literally interrupting a conversation. It could be something big and bold happening, like an explosion or a really loud noise. It's something unexpected that gives your characters something to react to and you something new to write. The second tip is what I call the worst case scenario. Brainstorm what is the worst possible thing that can either happen to your character or characters or in this specific moment. This is all in the name of introducing conflict to the story and high stakes. Well, of course, it is always a solution to write the more mundane in order to get through something and to get word count. It is far more effective and fun and likely to stick in the final story if you look for conflict-oriented solutions. Which brings me to my third tip, which is looking for dynamic set pieces to insert into your story. Transform something from mundane, taking place in an everyday situation, maybe it's just characters going on a walk. Transplant that conversation to a dynamic set piece. Maybe it's a crowded cafeteria or a raucous party. Generally speaking, you should be looking for dynamic set pieces throughout the book. These are scenes that beg you as the author to look for things to describe, to evoke the five senses, to give your character a ton of people to meet and or things to react to. Parties are an old favorite of mine, but you can think of things like heists or confrontations of characters, maybe in a specific public public place, party games. I know that's party again, <laughs> but meaning it's a dynamic setup to play spin the bottle versus having just a cutesy scene set in say a kitchen. It's all about conflict and stakes and things to sink your teeth into as a writer as you are writing a set piece. It can also give you something to write toward when you feel really stuck. I love designing a dynamic set piece for my third act climax and I hold that in mind and I'm always pushing through my writing blocks in order to get to that scene. That scene is a cookie. The fourth tip for when you are stuck during nano is to talk out your plot problems with another person. Whether that person has ideas or solutions for you, it doesn't even matter. It's the act of talking through start to finish kind of setup, obstacle, etc. what you are struggling with in your manuscript that can unstick all sorts of brilliant ideas. And that's the great thing about NaNoWriMo, the community and people to talk to is built in. Though of course reciprocate. <laughs> if someone else is stuck, listen to them and see what you can do to help them out. The fifth tip is to have a change of venue. If you are writing at home, for example, on the couch, or if you're writing in one coffee shop and you always go to the same place, try going somewhere else. Whether it's another spot in your house, going outside, do you have a patio or a nearby park? Or if you've never written in a coffee shop and you were able to in your local area, I highly recommend it. It's something psychological about going to a new place with the sole purpose of writing, maybe setting yourself a time limit that makes your brain go, oh, I am here to work, pushes you into a new mode and you can get unstuck. And the sixth and final tip is to take a shower, go for a walk, any activity where your brain goes into autopilot mode. It could be doing the dishes. For some people, this is driving, which then allows your creative brain to kick into gear. It's the strangest phenomenon. I can't really explain it, but I have had some of my best brain waves in the shower or doing the dishes. So whatever that thing is where you take a break from writing and you go do essentially a mindless thing, you'd be amazed what solutions you can come up with for when you are stuck on your novel. So those are six tips for me on how to get unstuck during NaNoWriMo. I really hope these helped. Best of luck with NaNoWriMo. I am in the trenches with you trying to get the words done. Let us know down below in the comments what are your tips for getting unstuck during NaNo or did you try any of these and did they work? I really hope they did. Thank you so much for watching and happy writing.